From 1989 to 2007, Pamela Claflin was the force behind the well-known Mockingbird Art Gallery in downtown Bend. Now she's back in the gallery business in downtown Primeville. Open since early August this year, Rimrock Gallery features 15 painters and six bronze sculptors, all world-class artists. Well, one that I'm especially proud of is Stefan Savatis, and he's out of Southern Oregon and uh, in Klamath Falls. And Stefan has, you've seen his work in um, some national magazines, and also he's been invited to be at a special show, which is the uh, Roger Torrey Peterson Museum in New York City, and they've invited him to do a show there, as well as the brand new Brenton Museum in Bighorn, Wyoming. That's and that, those shows will happen in the springtime. And I'm assuming this is one of his pieces. Of his work. This is his <laughs> heron, yeah, his beautiful heron piece. And uh, when you came in the gallery first, there was a huge eagle that you saw, and that was his also. And so, um, very, very nice, beautiful artist. He really knows the animals. He likes to present them truly the way they actually move, the way they hang on to a branch, the way the eagle is, is form before just before he lands and grabs the other branch with his other foot and things. Those things are important to him to get them right, the detail. And so he's very, very good at that. And another artist that I love to promote is Robert Moore. He is an artist who has trained many, many young male artists who have come and stayed with him two to three to four years and trained under him. And then he has called galleries and asked galleries to you know put them in and start representing these young men and so he has been responsible for their growth for a long long time That's wonderful. and so we have Robert Moore the real Robert Moore here <laughs> he lives in Idaho and he's a fabulous artist another artist that came into the gallery Jim McVicker out of Northern California his work is sold very well between California and Florida and he's very collected. He works entirely on location. Mm. And so a big canvas starts out there standing in the water in a marsh <laughs> and, uh, or in the ocean getting the waves or whatever he does. He's, in, he's close to Trinidad, so um, California is where he is located. And his wife is also an artist. And so they'll set up a beautiful still life inside their studio and paint that. But everything is painted from life. Oh, interesting. Which makes the, the work really astounding, really beautiful. Pamela, an artist herself, trained under Russian oil master Delbert Gish. And while art has been her focus for 40 or so years now, it wasn't really a planned profession. Yes, I can say that the first time I got involved in art, a neighbor asked me if I wanted to go to a toll painting class. I started, I went with her, I said, well, yes, that sounds interesting. She said, well, you need some oil paints. I said, okay, where do I get them? <laughs> so I got the oil paints, and then we went to class, and we learned Norwegian and German and Russian rose modeling. I started teaching it a year later to students. So you were a natural, obviously. <laughs> so I wondered, why did Pamela get back into the gallery business after spending time in nature, painting full time herself? She explains it as an emptiness. A restlessness of sorts. So, started looking around. I moved back to Prineville, my hometown. I love it here. Mm -hmm. I love the people here. I love the pace here. And they were missing one thing very badly. They had no art Arts gallery. Arts gallery. <laughs> so you're a pioneer. You opened the so, first one. Here you are. Pamela is hoping art lovers from all over come to see the beautiful, collectible level of work in her new gallery where she's feeling right at home these days.